Good morning, I'm Dr Kerry Chant from New South Wales Health with the COVID update for Friday the 31st of December. Across New South Wales we've got 95% of people aged 16 and over have received a first dose of the COVID vaccine and 93.6% have received two doses. People aged 12 to 15 we've got 81.5% have received their first dose and 78.2% have received two doses. That number is sticking stubbornly in those 80s percents for that first uh, dose and it would be really good, pleasing to see that increase. So ahead of school resuming next year, please book your 12 to 15 year olds for their first and second doses. There are currently 832 COVID cases admitted to hospital with 69 people in intensive care, 19 of whom require ventilation. There were 21,151 cases of COVID reported in New South Wales in the 24 hours to 8pm last night and more than 148,000 COVID tests were reported during that period. Sadly, New South Wales Health is reporting the deaths of six people. A woman in her 80s from Western Sydney died at Nepean Hospital and she was a resident of the Fitzgerald Aged Care Facility in Windsor. There was a man in his 70s from southwestern Sydney who died at Liverpool Hospital. A man in his 70s from Newcastle area died at John Hunter Hospital. And he was a resident of the Kilpatrick Court aged care facility in Toronto. A woman in her 60s from western Sydney died at Liverpool Hospital. A man in his 90s from Sydney's North Shore died at Royal North Shore Hospital. And a man in his 70s from southwestern Sydney died at Concord Hospital. Can I express my sincere condolences to the families for the loss of their loved ones? As we turn, it is the 31st of December and what a challenging couple of years we've had in, um, in the, the context of this global pandemic. It is important that um, we reflect on the year past and look forward to a brighter new year. But as we do that, I'm really urging everyone to just stay safe and continue to practice those COVID safe behaviours. Whilst we're reporting 21,151 cases in the community, it's likely that um, the case numbers are higher than that. And there is a lot of transmission of COVID occurring in our community. And so the risk of transmission and acquiring COVID is high. And we can do some simple things to reduce that risk. And I urge everyone to practice those simple steps over this, um, New Year period. One of the most effective ways is just to choose the venue when we're socialising. So choose well ventilated spaces, preferably outdoors, um, and as much as possible, um, try and limit your size of your social, your social gatherings. Rapid antigen testing before a gathering can be an additional precaution. And consider using that, particularly if you're going to meet up with a lot of uh, a lot of people, particularly in indoor settings, or you're going to be meeting up with people that are elderly or have underlying health conditions. This is an added level of protection, and again, um, a simple step you can take. There's advice on our website about how to use rapid antigen testing, and I understand that availability is variable, but if you have got them with you, or you can access them readily, they, we really are encouraging the, their use. Continue to check in to those um, with the New South Wales Health Check-in app where it's available. Continue to wear those masks where they're required and practice that physical d distancing. But most importantly, even though it might be that one-off event or you've been looking really for looking forward to catching up with family, friends, if you have the most minimal of symptoms, I'm asking you to please to stay home. Isolate and get a test. That will keep your loved ones safe from further transmission and help slow the spread of COVID in our community. Now on a more positive note about vaccination boosters, um, we know that vaccination is keeping us safe. We continue to see a number of people admitted to ICU that are unvaccinated. And every time I see that, I see it's a bit of an opportunity missed or a bit of a tragedy in some cases. I really urge everyone to get vaccinated if they've not vaccinated already. 
transmission of COVID in the community is high and the best thing you can do to, to protect yourself is to get start your vaccine course. If you're due for your second dose, get it promptly. And most importantly, book online to get your booster dose. Please go online immediately. I know availability over the um, Christmas period might have been a little bit down, but as we emerge into the new year, pharmacies, GP service, GP practices will be open and online, and the New South Wales health facilities have been operating through this period. So please go online and book in for a vaccine. In terms of testing, um, appreciate the efforts of the community in um, bearing with us as there's been some significant um, challenges getting through the testing. We are working um, with our pathology providers and doing all we, all we, we can to turn around those tests as soon as possible. But we do want to limit our PCR testing to those that fit into certain categories. So people that have got COVID symptoms get a PCR test, isolate until they've got a negative result. Also, if you've been in a household of a case, please get a PCR test. And also if we've otherwise advised that you need a PCR test. But we do want to discourage um, testing if you don't have symptoms, unless you fall into those high risk um, categories. In addition, um, again, I'd like to thank everyone for their amazing efforts over this last um, 12 months. We are going to um, see the case numbers continue to, in, continue to increase, but we all have a part to play in reducing the impact of those case numbers through getting vaccinated, but also taking those simple mes measures that I've described today to reduce the risk that we transmit um, COVID to our friends, family, and uh, the broader community. So thank you very much for your efforts, and I'm wishing you a very happy new year. Um, please stay safe. Um, I focused all my messages on COVID, but um, there's also some other um, messages we usually traditionally give at this time of year about food safety, um, injury, being watchful um, as we go for a swim. Um, but I apologise that COVID has really been dominating our current thoughts. So please stay safe on a broader front, broad fronts, and I look forward to um, meeting you through this video in the new year.